Orange County is now in a position to move from red to orange on the COVID-19 tier. That's if their rate of infection remains low by next week. And this comes as some schools are getting ready to reopen today. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Fountain Valley where kids will be back in class for in-person learning. I'm sure they're excited, Cara. Good morning, I'm sure. The Geisler Gators here and elementary students at all schools throughout this district will head back today for their first day of what they call hybrid learning. Middle schools are going to do the same later on in the week. Hybrid schedules are a mix of in-person and online learning with some smaller class sizes. Take a look. Well, Orange County schools are all now eligible to reopen for indoor learning. It is up to each district to decide how they want to move forward, and they're all doing it a little differently. Some of the 22,000 students in Newport Beach and Costa Mesa will return to campuses next week, but initially they'll just bring back kindergartners through second graders and only for a few hours a day. Other Orange County school districts have opted to stick with distance learning only for now. Some families want to return to campus learning. Others are voicing safety worries. Members of Newport Mesa Unified Teachers Union shared concerns over the weekend. Yes, we feel that we're rushing to get everything together. We want to be mindful and make sure everything is in place. We're pushing to get the schools reopened, businesses beyond just the summer 10 percent, summer 25 percent. A lot of businesses just can't make a go of it at those low percentages. Meanwhile, as we mentioned, if the COVID-19 testing numbers and positivity rates remain where they are or drop lower, Orange County could move from the red to the less restrictive orange tier a week from today. And that would also loosen the current rules regarding retail shops, restaurants, gyms, bars, other businesses and houses of worship. Back here live, you can see uh, right outside the school here that the first day of school was actually back on the 9th. They were at that point doing virtual learning. So DeMarco, Suzanne, this is kind of like a restart for these students, and I'm sure they've got all those first day of school jitters oh, all over yeah. again. Oh, you know, you know they do. Let's do it the Gateway and the Safeway. All right, Cara, thank you very much.